So if you're thinking of moving to Las Vegas, Nevada, more specifically Enterprise, then you're gonna wanna stick around because in this video, we're gonna take you through Enterprise on the map. That way you can get a good idea and the orientation of where it is in proximity to Las Vegas, the airport, and other local hotspots. And also if you checked out our other video on the full Enterprise vlog, this will help kind of put a little of this into context so you can always check that one out after this one as well. And we're getting into it right now. If you are new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad about living in Las Vegas, Nevada and the surrounding areas like Enterprise, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Las Vegas. Hi, my name is Mark Pepe, and the team and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Las Vegas. We are passionate about removing the stress of relocating to a completely new city and state. As a real estate professional here, it doesn't matter whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we'll be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Vegas. So let's get into it. Let's jump into my computer and take a look at Enterprise. Okay, so here we are taking a look at Enterprise and the Las Vegas Valley. And as you can see, this suburb is located in the southwestern side of Las Vegas, right over here. And the main boundaries are Sunset up here to the north. You've got Bermuda and Gillespie over here on the east side. And it curves around right down to St. Rose and then comes around to Sloan Canyon around the south, around over here, and then eventually we'll come up to Durango on the west. It covers 46 square miles, which encompasses approximately 15% of the entire Las Vegas Valley. As I mentioned before, uh, the Las Vegas Valley is about 27, 28 miles north to south, and then about 26, 27 miles east to west, depending on what part of Henderson you end at over here. So for 2.5 million people that live here in Las Vegas Valley, it really is not a large land area for that many people. So uh, when, when you're looking at the whole Las Vegas Valley as a whole, you can see here in the blue outline here where um, Enterprise uh, really covers about 15% of the land. Now, some of the more rural areas are over here on the far west side of town uh, of Enterprise. And then you've got some more rural areas up and around over here. And then in between uh, the two major communities here, I'm gonna talk about in a second, right over here, and then a little bit over here. So there's some really nice pockets of some more rural areas that you typically don't see around the Las Vegas Valley. Enterprise encompasses two main primary communities. The first one is Mountain's Edge, which is located right here. And right over here, just south of one of the major streets I'm gonna talk about here in a second. Mountain's Edge is one of the top selling master plan communities in all of Las Vegas. There's over 3,000 acres, 11,000 homes with numerous amenities for the entire family, which I will discuss here in a second. The second neighborhood is uh, Southern Highlands. Southern Highlands starts right here against, the, against here against the 15, come around Southern Highlands Golf Club and we'll come around all the way up until Cactus cactus over and then alongside the 15 here. Now Southern Highlands is one of the most affluent communities in all of the Las Vegas Valley. In fact, there's a number of celebrities and athletes that call Southern Highlands home. The freeway system here in Las Vegas uh, really makes it easy to get around town in a reasonable time frame. The two closest freeways in and around Enterprise is the 15, which comes right here from LA. If you're coming from LA, you hit the 15, and you come all the way up here, uh, alongside Southern Highlands. They'll come up right through Enterprise uh, into uh, the uh, Las Vegas Strip on the right-hand side here as you pass it. Come through North Las Vegas, and eventually, if you take the 15 all the way north, we'll take you into Utah. The second major freeway is the 215. It starts in the east part of Henderson, and we'll come through Green Valley area up and around um, and into the northern part of Enterprise, into Spring Valley, and eventually takes you to Summerlin South, in, into the main part of Summerlin, 
and will take you up into Centennial Hills. And then it wraps around all the way to back until the 15th. So my cursor messed up here, but I'll go back down over here. And so the 215 really is a major beltway all the way across, almost makes a giant loop. It takes you to 15 and 15 can, can take you all the way back down um, south. Now there's also a couple other freeways around town that I've highlighted in the past, but if you haven't watched any of the videos, I want to make sure you're aware of them. You've got the 515 that starts uh, again over here in Boulder City that takes you up into uh, East um, Henderson. Uh, we'll take you through the east side of Las Vegas, eventually right in downtown Las Vegas, where it uh, um, interchanges with the 95 and becomes a 95 that veers north. And the 95 will eventually take you all the way to Reno. And then you've got um, Summerlin Parkway, which is right at 215. Summerlin Parkway will take you and merges right into the 95, which is a quick route from Summerlin to uh, downtown into Las Vegas. So uh, again, you know, the freeway system here really makes it uh, easy to get in and around town. I, I did want to show you one major street that really goes right in the heart of Enterprise, and that's Blue Diamond. Runs off here to 15, and Blue Diamond comes all the way down right in here, all the way right through, and then eventually will take you over into um, Red Rock Canyon, and eventually wraps around into uh, Summerlin and Charleston right over here. So it wraps all the way around. Now, the further you live off of Blue Diamond, the further south you live off Blue Diamond, so the southern part of, of Mountain's Edge, uh, the community between Mountain's Edge uh, and around here between Mountain's Edge and um, Southern Highlands, um, it, it's gonna take you a little bit longer to get in and around areas outside of the Enterprise area. And the reason being is that uh, you're further away from the 15, so if you're in this area here, the 15 is right here, and the 215 is up here, okay? Now, Blue Diamond's got a number of lanes going in each direction, and there's also a number of stoplights. So this street can get very, very busy uh, during the mornings and uh, late afternoon, evening time. So it's going to create a longer commute time if you're looking to travel outside of the greater enterprise area. So make sure you keep that in mind when moving to, if you choose an enterprise uh, and in certain parts of enterprise, that your commute time can get, get a little bit longer than, than usual. Um, I want to show you uh, the airport, the airport access. So let me exit out of this and show you uh, Reed International Airport, which is located uh, right here. So very, very convenient. Reed International Airport was just renamed from, it used to be called McCarran International, which most of you are probably familiar with that name. Just a few months back was renamed Harry Reed International. Same airport. Um, if you're living in the north um, east part of, of Enterprise, it takes you literally under five minutes to get to the airport. If you live more on the south uh, west side of Enterprise, it could take you up to, up to 15, 20 minutes, depending on exactly where you live um, and the ac access to uh, either Blue Diamond and or the 15 to 15 area. So um, again, over five minutes to 15, 20 minutes to Harry Reid, which is a great airport to get in and out of, not, not too difficult, even though it's one of the busiest, I believe it's the fifth largest, fifth busiest airport in the world, or excuse me, in the country, um, still very easy to get in, in and out of. Um, also accessibility to the uh, Las Vegas Strip. Las Vegas Strip is located right here. So the Strip again, right in here. Now the accessibility to the Strip you can take either Dean Martin, which is this road right here, and eventually you can cross over to the Strip, or you can take an airport connector that will take you on Paradise, and Paradise runs parallel with the Strip, and there's obviously a, a, a different streets that can take you straight on, like, like Tropicana, like Flamingo, like Spring Mountain. Um, there's also a street called Koval, which is right here, that runs parallel with the Strip as well. So there's a number of street access points that you can travel along without having to drive on Las Vegas Boulevard if you work or want to visit the, uh, the Las Vegas Strip. So um, again, there's, there's a plethora of, of opportunities there, you know, ways of getting around to avoid some traffic. Now there's also a number of shopping centers, not only in Enterprise, but in close proximity. So let's take a look at those. Uh, and the first shopping center that I wanted to talk about is actually in Enterprise and it's called Mountain's Edge Marketplace. Now, uh, this shopping center is not, not so much your retail shops than it is more of convenience stores like an Albertsons shopping center, a Chase Bank, 
and a handful of other small retail stores that are more for your shopping needs, not your big malls, which we'll get here to a second. So it's right in the middle of Enterprise Mountains Edge area. So again, very, very convenient. Now, if you want to go more to bigger, bigger shopping centers, we've got two of the lo closest, larger shopping centers include Town Square, which is located right here. Now, Town Square is a 93 acre outdoor shopping experience that features 134 nationally branded and locally branded stores, 20 restaurants. Uh, in addition, there are, there are community events held in the common large grass area in the middle of the square throughout the year. So Town Square is just a great hotspot for both locals and visitors alike due to its location. Next uh, major shopping center in Enterprise, again, on the, we're looking at the northeast side here, is the Las Vegas South Premium Outlets. Now, this is an indoor mall that features 150 plus nationally branded retail stores, and there's also a food court there. The sister property to the South Outlets is the North Outlets. That is located up close to downtown Las Vegas off of Charleston in the 15. And that is the Las Vegas Premium North Outlets. It's an outdoor mall with an another 150 plus retail stores, food court, the whole nine yards. So if you like outlet shopping, there's two of them. Um, one in the South End in Enterprise, and then one in the North End up by close to downtown Las Vegas. The next shopping center is downtown Summerlin. Now, downtown Summerlin is located off of Charleston. Um, and it has over 125 regional and branded retail shops, including Macy's, Dillard's, H&M, and Nike. There's also uh, over 30 plus great bars and restaurants as well. So it's very convenient and accessible from Enterprise. All you got to do is take uh, uh, the 215 uh, right here, top on the 215 here, uh, either at Rainbow, at Durango, you jump on, and it's about a 10 minute drive up to uh, the downtown Summerlin Shopping Center. So again, just a great uh, area with, with some great entertainment, um, a great vibe to it um, if you're looking for some great shopping in downtown Summerlin. Uh, the next shopping center is located right on the strip and it's called Fashion Show Mall. It's off of Spring Mountain. It's located right there across from Wynn and Encore uh, Resorts. And it is going to be a location that's going to have a lot more tourists and visitors, obviously because of where it's located. So if you don't mind that, it's a great shopping center. It's indoors. It is anchored by Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, so again, if you look at some more high-end shops, Fashion Show Mall is a great mall. Now, if you don't want, if you want to stay away from tourists, again, go to more downtown Summerlin, the, air, the shops we just talked, the, the mall we just talked about in Town Square and or the South Outlet Mall, or, you can also look at on Henderson on the east side, you've got the Galleria at Sunset. Now this is more of your traditional mall, two stories indoors. It's anchored by Dillard's, Macy's, and Dick's Sporting Goods. So it's got a food court, restaurants as well. So it's just a great mall. Um, if you're looking for more of a traditional mall feel, again, very easy to get to. If, if you're, um, depending on what part of um, uh, enterprise you're living, you can hop on, the, on, on, on Blue Diamond to 15 over to the 215 and over. Hop on then at 515 to Sunset. Again, 15, 20 minute drive. Um, you can straight, uh, if you're living more in Southern Highlands, hop on St. Rose, take St. Rose all the way down over the 215, uh, Pecos and the 215, jump on there and you come on over to the 515 and exit Sunset. So again, very accessible and easy to get to Gallery. Again, about a 15 to 20 minute drive depending on where you're coming from. So great shopping there. And let's switch gears now and talk about professional sports. Uh, we've seen some tremendous growth over the last five years with our professional sports teams and venues being built. It really started with the Vegas Golden Knights NHL franchise that uh, started their inaugural season five years ago. Uh, but the first stadium I want to talk about first is Allegiant. Now, Allegiant Stadium is one of the newer stadiums, just built a couple years ago. Um, it is home to the Las Vegas Raiders and is also home to the Super Bowl in a couple of years. It also hosts a number of large concerts and corporate events throughout the year as well. It is very close, very, very close to Enterprise. If you're in the north part of town, again, north part of Enterprise, you're only five minutes away. You can take Dean Martin right down. Don't even need to worry about getting on a freeway again. Very, very accessible. The next closest venue is T-Mobile Arena. T-Mobile Arena is home to the Vegas Golden Knights hockey team. It plays all their home games there. Uh, UFC has a number of fights there throughout the year and their events are packed every time they hold an event there, packed out. And there's also a number of concerts, 
um, and other uh, events held throughout throughout the year at T-Mobile. Now, T-Mobile Arena is one of the busiest arenas in all of the country because of so much that's going on here locally and the draw that it brings in is just it's a very popular venue to hold a sporting venue there's basketball games ncaa basketball is coming as well to hold some regional events so there's just it just keep, continues to get busier and busier the next and again that very again easy to get to off of dean martin it's a dean martin over here crosses right over into the arena as well uh, the next arena that I want to talk to is actually the newest one here in town, and that's actually in Henderson off of the 215 and Green Valley Parkway. It's the Dollar Loan Center. It opened earlier this year and is home to the Henderson Silver Knights, which is the minor league hockey team to the Vegas Golden Knights. And so they play their home games there. Also, in addition to that, there is the Vegas Nighthawks of the Indoor Football League that plays their home games there as well. There's also some smaller concerts and corporate events as well. It's a 6,000 seat arena, so smaller, much smaller, about a third of the size of T-Mobile. But again, great amenities, state-of-the-art, brand new arena here in Henderson and the Green Valley Ranch area. Next is the, the Las Vegas Ballpark. Again, going back to Summer, Summerlin, right next right next to downtown Summerlin. There's, there's right here, it, it, first before City National Arena, you've got the, the uh, Las Vegas ballpark. It's home to the Las Vegas Aviators, which is our AAA minor league baseball team. And they are one of the, the highest draw fans wise attendance of at any minor league baseball team across the country. It's a newer venue just built a couple of years ago. And so it has a swimming pool in right center field. It is not one of a couple, I wanna show you the swimming pool in right center field. Uh, so again, just a great, great, great ballpark um, right there next to um, downtown Summerlin. Uh, there's also rumors that a major league baseball team is coming to Las Vegas as well. So I wouldn't surprise me in the next year or two if that announcement is made with a major league team coming, which would then um, require another new stadium in the Las Vegas Valley for major league baseball. Right next to Las Vegas ballpark is City National Arena, which is this uh, picture here that you saw a minute ago. City National Arena is headquarters and the practice facility for the Vegas Golden Knights. During the season, the team allows some of the practices to be open to the public, which is a great way to see the players up close and personal. There are two ice rinks at the venue, which is open to the public for ice skating year round on specific days, depending on other events that are held here at the arena. So um, great place to go and see players up close, watch the team and also get some ice skating in um, if you enjoy that as well. The next venue I want to discuss is the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And that is in North Las Vegas, up past North, uh, not far from Nellis Air Force Base or military base up here. Um, off of Speedway, you've got uh, the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Now, this hosts two premier NASCAR events every year, one in March and one in October. In fact, the one in October is part of the playoff series, or a series of, I think, eight, nine, 10 races from late September through November. And I believe we're the second playoff race every year in October. So it's just a, a great place to watch it if you're a NASCAR fan, to come out, places packed for the races. It draws a lot of people from Southern California, Arizona, Utah, because of its location, is a very, very popular venue for NASCAR. Now, in every May, there is what's called the Electric Daisy Carnival, EDC. Bunch of DJs with techno music, with two to 300,000 people that come on a weekend in May and pack the place out. Very, very popular event here in Las Vegas at the Motor Speedway. The last event I want to mention is Glittering Lights. That happens from late November, right before Thanksgiving through the first of the year. And it is an event where there are millions of lights uh, where you stay in your car and you turn your radio on a certain channel, listen to Christmas music, and you can drive through around the speedway with lights and characters and themes. It is just a really cool um, experience to take your family during the holiday time frame. That's called Glittering Lights. So that is the sport venues. And let's uh, shift, shift gears here. Let's talk about education. And so education, now, Enter now Enterprise has a pretty significant range of the quality of schools. In total, there are 30 schools between Clark County, private and charter schools. There are some Clark County schools that do not rank very high. However, there are some ones that do rank pretty high and those include um, Frias Elementary, which is located right here, Charles and Phyllis Frias Elementary. Uh, and then you have 
uh, Stuckey Elementary, which is located right here at Evelyn Stuckey, Stuckey Elementary School. is a very highly rated school that's located just outside of, or inside of Southern Highlands. And then over in the Mountain's uh, Edge area, you've got Doral Academy, the Cactus Campus. Um, again, this is K through eighth grade. And again, very, very highly rated charter school. The other campus I wanted to, uh, to mention about was the Southwest Career and Technical Academy located right here. And that is more in the north part of Enterprise. Um, and that is a specialty technical school as well for Enterprise. So again, I, I am happy to also really help guide you to homes around these preferred schools. So you are zoned properly. There's a few other additional schools as well that are that rank pretty high as well. So I'm happy to help you make sure you're zoned for these schools specifically. Next, I want to talk about the, the parks in, in and around. There are over 23 parks, including a couple that offer amenities you're not going to find anywhere else in Las Vegas. Clark County does a really good job of keeping these parks clean and well-maintained. There's uh, over 75 miles of multi-use hiking and, and walking, jogging trails as well. And I wanted to point out a couple of the more popular parks. First one is Exploration Peak Park and that is located uh, right here off of Blue Diamond. And this park has a 2,800 foot tall natural mountain in the, just in the middle of the park that you can walk, you can run, you can bike to the peak. Now, once you get to the top, uh, you're gonna be rewarded with some uh, amazing, incredible panoramic views of the entire Las Vegas Valley. I've done this a number of times and I highly recommend that you experience it as well. I mean, the park offers picnic areas, playgrounds and splash pads. Just a really, really fun experience. Uh, the next park is Mountain's Edge uh, Regional Park. It is a fitness themed park. And what I mean by that is it has sports wall for racquetball. It has exercise stations. It has a multi-use uh, turf fields, has a meditation garden and a mile and a half of walking trails. So if you love the outdoors and love to, be, love to stay active and really truly work out, this is a really unique park that has amenities for uh, for to fit, fit that bill. So yeah, check out Mountain's Edge Regional Park. Literally right next door to Mountain's Edge Regional Park is Desert Diamonds. And I'm gonna try to, there we go. Desert Diamonds Baseball Complex. It features four absolutely pristine, well-maintained adult grass diamonds with dugouts and even a press box. This facility reminds me, if you're a baseball fan and you know about spring training before the Major League Baseball season starts, reminds me of a spring training complex with multiple fields in perfect condition, um, clean area, well lit, just a, a great area um, for baseball. Again, these are more for your kids that are gonna be teenagers and above since it's a regulation size diamonds. Now, this, this is also a very popular park for various baseball tournaments that draw teams from all over the Western United States. So again, very, very busy um, park there. Last park I wanted to highlight is the Western Trails Park, which is located up in the Northeast part of um, Enterprise. And it, with its namesake, it has a Western theme that complements the immediate surrounding neighborhood with an Old West rural feel. The seven acre park includes a shaded playground and walking trails. There's actually a 50 foot windmill as well. And the building where the restaurant restrooms are located is a replica of a Western town main street. I mean, just really, really cool and authentic yet Western feel. Uh, to top it all off, there are Oregon trail wagons that cover all the picnic areas, each with its own grill. So just again, a really unique park, a park that you need to check out um, when in the enterprise area. So those are the parks. And let's uh, transition over and talk about a little bit about the golf, which there's not a ton of golf immediately located right in Enterprise. Uh, however, there are a number outside and I'll show you that here in a second. You've got, first you got Southern Highlands Golf Club. That's right here in, in Southern, obviously in Southern Highlands in Enterprise. It is a 18 hole, immaculate, beautiful scenery. It's a championship golf course that hosts a number of amateur events throughout the year, obviously with a number of celebrities living in Southern Highlands. So again, very, very unique. Now, the other golf clubs around the area, again, five to 15 minutes away, you've got Rio Seco Golf Club in Henderson, located right here. Off, and that's very easy to get to, very access to get to off, off of St. Rose. And then we also have right on the border of Enterprise and um, Spring Valley, 
is Rhodes Ranch Golf Club. Now, Rhodes Ranch actually is located in Spring Valley, but right on the border. So again, that's a couple minutes away to 10 minutes away, depending on where in an enterprise you live. The other golf course I wanted to point out to you is uh, Siena, and that's in uh, more of Summerlin South. And that is uh, right here, an 18 hole golf club as well. Phenomenal conditions golf course as well. So if you love golf, we've got plenty. There's no shortage of golf in and around Enterprise and the entire Las Vegas Valley. So, and, and not just not just any golf course, some really, really beautiful, well-maintained, and then just the scenery with the mountain ranges. It's just, it's just beautiful. So you love golf, we got you covered. Um, next, I want to talk about the hotels, a couple of uh, hotels and casinos. And the first one I want to discuss is the Silverton Casino Hotel, which is literally right off of Blue Diamond and the 15 freeway in the north, East part of Enterprise. Now this is a Western theme hotel that it just has the right mix of modern and rustic that fits right in with the surrounding community. And a really cool attraction at this hotel is their 117,000 gallon aquarium that is home to thousands of tropical fish. I mean, they're all colors, it's beautiful. Um, there's also mermaid, mermaid shows on the weekends as well. So you gotta bring your kids out. It is a free attraction to go see. And I'm telling you, they're, gonna, they're going to absolutely Love it. And then also right next door to the Silverton Hotel and Casino is Bash Pro Shops, which is a wilderness themed store that offers a wide array of hunting, fishing, boating, outdoor gear. I mean, if you love the outdoors, this is your store located again right next to Silverton. Another hotel located just south of the Silverton off of the 15 here is uh, South Point Hotel, Casino and Spa. And a major attraction in this hotel is a 64 lane bowling alley, 64 lanes, that's right, it's gigantic, plus a 60 lane tournament bowling plaza. There's a number of professional bowling tournaments that are held in that plaza. So whether you love the bowl or love to watch professionals play, South Point is the place to be for bowling. In addition, South Point is also home to an incredible equestrian center, which is one of the finest horse facilities in the entire country. So again, being located right in Enterprise, where you've got a lot of horse properties and equestrian properties, it is really, it really fits within the neighborhood. Um, and they hold some major events around horses and rodeos. Just a great place to get to go watch that as well, right at South Point Hotel, Casino and Spa. Um, another popular attraction I wanted to point out that's not uh, not a hotel, but it's right here, just just outside of Enterprise in the South, is Speed Las Vegas. Now you'll see it on the right hand side if you're driving in from Southern California, or it's on your left hand side if you're leaving the Las Vegas Valley and going back. Um, Speed Las Vegas is a popular attraction that combines racing exotic cars. Um, also, it has one of the best go kart tracks in all of Nevada. And it's also uh, one of the leading off-road experiences, all literally in one venue. So if you have a need for speed, look no further. This place provides an unreal adrenaline rush. So gotta check out Speed Las Vegas. Well, I hope this video gives you a good overview of Enterprise and all that it has to offer. I hope you found this video beneficial and provide you with a valuable understanding of the proximity of, and of how to get around enterprise and where the major interest points are at. My goal in this and other videos is to provide you with a single resource of information on moving to Las Vegas and the surrounding areas so you don't have to spend countless hours searching the internet and other resources. If this part of town interests you, I am confident we will be able to find you the perfect home as you relocate to Las Vegas. So please like and share this video. Please subscribe below and comment if you have any questions or found this video helpful. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the, in the description below. We are passionate, helping you make a smooth and stress-free move here to Las Vegas. So until next time, we hope to see you around town.